Hello, this is John Rinaldi from Real Time Automation, and today I'd like to talk about our new book, Properly Arch Architecting Ethernet IP Networks, that I wrote with Gary Workman. So why do we need another book on Ethernet IP? Where did this thing come from? Well, my original book, Ethernet IP, The Error Man's Guide, that you probably read, uh, I, that, I did that book about three, four years ago, and I got a phone call one day from Gary, and Gary said, your book sucks. And I go, what do you mean it sucks? He says, you left out a whole bunch of information. Yeah, you know, you just talk about Ethernet IP, but you don't talk about how to implement a network. What's the control engineer supposed to do to actually put devices together and make a reliable, optimized, efficient Ethernet IP control network? And I go, well, that's not the purpose of the book. And he said, well, why don't we write another one? And I said, okay, I didn't know that we were going to spend two years at it and it was going to cost me a untold number of hours, but I decided to go ahead and we did it, and it's now been finished, and now we now have the, the Everman's Guide to Properly a Architecting Ethernet IP Networks. Now, what we talk about in here is a little bit different than the kind of information you're going to get at the ODVA. The ODVA is going to have a lot of technical information about what Ethernet IP is, how devices operate, but they have only a tiny bit of information about how to actually implement a network in the in the field. And the reason for that is because they don't prescribe that Ethernet IP is a control network operating on TCP IP. In, in the view that you get from uh, their descriptive explanation, it can operate on any kind of network. But we restrict it to TCP IP, which is what most people are using. Now the book is divided into three sections. The first section is simply technology. All of the things that you need to know before you start to architect an Ethernet IP network. The second, the last section is about future stuff. IPv6, it's about TSN, it's about security and all of the, that kind of thing. But the real guts, the real guts of the book is the 12, there's 12 specific recommendations that we go into about how to develop a reliable, optimized Ethernet IP control network. And following each recommendation, there, there's kind of a rant by Gary talking about something that happened to GM, how he was slamming the door on the IT people and what, what, what failed uh, on a weekend and caused them all sorts of problems and why he came to believe in the, that this is the right way to build Ethernet IP networks. So GM built probably more Ethernet IP networks than almost anyone. So, there's, so some of the recommendations I'll highlight just to give you a little sample. The first one is very simple. Build fully switched Ethernet IP networks. Fully switched full duplex Ethernet IP networks so that you can every device can access the network at any time. And we talk about why that's important. We talk about why you're going to want to use a switch and, and in actually a managed switch, not just any switch. A second recommendation talks about how to maximize control traffic throughput. That is really important when you start talking about that. If you do this right, we came up with a concept called the one big switch network, and we kind of kind of overlay that. When you talk about that, it becomes, when you implement that one big switch concept, it becomes very easy for people to troubleshoot. It becomes easy to illustrate what kind of network, what your network does and how it works. There's a whole set of advantages that we go to about that. And we talk about how you can use that concept if you have one controller and a few devices, one controller and thousands of devices, multiple controllers. If you have a mobile cell, it all talk, it's all, dis, all, 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 uh, all that information is contained in that recommendation. Then one another recommendation that you'd be interested in is how to define a well-architected address space. There isn't any, there is no information about that can tell you about how do you build a well-architected address space for an optimized, efficient Ethernet IP control system. So we have a we have an entire recommendation about how you should do that properly. So I think this is going to be a great book. It's going to help a lot of control engineers build Ethernet IP networks. There's a link below that can you can find a way to uh, for where you, how you can get this book, and I think it'll really help you. And I'm look I'm very proud of it. And Gary and I think did a really great job on it, and I'm looking forward to hearing the reaction of of all you control engineers to this. Thanks very much. I'll see you in the next video.